Skyping in from an undisclosed location is two-time sole survivor and current mentor on Island of the Idols, Sandra Diaz Twine. What's up, Queen? Nothing much. I'm excited for the new episode tonight. So that's what my countdown is, 8 o'clock. So I'm ready. I cannot wait. I am a super fan of Survivor and a super fan of yours. And even though we're almost five episodes into the season, I have to tell you, I'm still mesmerized by those giant heads of you and Rob on the beach. Like, I have to ask, what was it like when you first stepped onto the Island of the Idols and saw those built? Well, we actually went the day before we actually went to live there just to see uh, the statues. And of course, I had a tear or two in my eyes oh. and I really loved my statue. I was like, oh my God, it is so me. Like every detail was perfect. So I knew that anyone that knows who I am would come up the beach and say, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> Getting into last week's elimination, which was yet another blind side, what did you make of that vote? Did you see it coming from where you were sitting? I didn't. I thought it was going to be Karishma. I was like, she's in hot water. It's going to be her. She's going to go home. And week by week, we kept we ourselves are getting surprised. They're saying one thing at Tribal Council, they're saying one thing to Jeff, but then they turn around and do the opposite. So it's just become a thing where you shouldn't even guess what's gonna happen because you really don't know. And just because they're feeding you a bunch of stories doesn't mean you have to believe it. So we learned real quick that whatever they're saying is gonna be totally the, the opposite of what's actually going on. In the beginning of the episode, Chelsea tried and clearly failed to convince her tribe about a possible showmance with Dean. It seemed like she could have used that lesson in persuasion you gave. Um, how would you have gone about quieting showmance rumors if you were Chelsea? Well, I would have never been in that situation because I've been married since the first day I started playing Survivor. That's and right. it seems that currently that's something that people look at. Like if there's a showmance, they want to split it up. but. A showman's is just as destructive as a two, three person alliance when those people are loyal to a specific group. So I personally don't feel that a showman's is the indicator to split somebody up. You know, there could be all kinds of sorts of reason, but nowadays that's what they look for. So definitely don't don't go on Survivor to look for love or find love or give anyone the idea that there is a romance brewing or they'll split you up and you never know if who's gonna go home when it comes to those two. I hear it. Well, Sandra, I am so glad that we had some time to catch up. And before you go, I have a little surprise for you, just a small one. Yeah, hello. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> for interviewing me today. I know, I was busy doing other stuff, but I heard that you were asking about me. Did you miss me? I did. I was like, <laughs> you finally get to ask me some questions. You always say if I come to, California, uh, to uh, New York to hit you up, but I'm never in that area, rarely. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go on the show and she's gonna talk to me, and then you're not even there. I know, I was doing a different interview, but I wanna say it's been a lot of fun watching you. Your commentary with Boss and Rob, especially Tribal Council, is so funny. I so love watching keep them it like, up. peer through. No, it's so, so funny. <laughs> How weird is it, though, to be on the other side of things, especially at Tribal Council? And that's the crazy thing. And I was saying uh, in a previous question that, you know, we're sitting there just like Jeff and they're dishing out a lot of stuff and everything that they're saying is the opposite of what they're going to turn around and do mm -hmm. at Tribal So if I was a betting woman, I wouldn't even, you know, if, if you're thinking it's this specific person, it's going to end up being someone else. It's going to be 100% blindside for all involved.